Welcome to D Beaver's YouTube channel. Our previous video in this educational series taught you how to use the min and max functions in your SQL queries. If you're just familiarizing yourself with data aggregation, we recommend you watch the two previous chapters first. You can do it by following the links in the description of this video below. Today, we'll introduce the average function, which you can encounter as AVG in the queries. Keep watching this video to learn how to use this function with the GROUP BY clause for data aggregation. The AVERAGE function returns the average value of a column, and it works only with numeric data. Please keep in mind that all the NULL values are ignored. The structure of this function is quite similar to the COUNT, MINIMUM, and MAXIMUM functions. SELECT COLUMN 1 AVG COLUMN 2 FROM Table underscore name. Group by column 1. In this template, the average function and grouping are applied to different columns. However, you can use them for the same column if needed. Also, it doesn't matter what order you put the average function in the select statement. Let's see how the average function works using specific examples. By now, you should have already installed the dBeaver Community app and created an SQLite database. If you need to learn how to download and install the application, follow the link in the description or click on the tooltip on the right-hand side of the screen. Imagine you need to analyze sales across different countries and determine which ones have the highest average deal amount using the invoice table. How can you do this? Let's start by finding the average deal amounts for each country. To do so, we need to get a full list of countries and apply the average function to the purchase amounts. And finally, we group data by country. The query will look like this. Select Billing Country, AVG, Total, from Invoice, Group by Billing Country. After query execution, we get two columns, one with all the unique entries of countries' names and one with average sales amounts for each country. However, we should add more data to our results set to create a more detailed report about the company's deals. Let's change the query by adding billing city and billing postal code to the select statement and aggregating by billing city instead of billing country. Select billing city, billing country, billing postal code, AVG total. From Invoice, Group by, Billing City. This time, we received a more detailed result set with the list of cities, corresponding countries, postal codes, and average deal amounts for each city. With dBeaver, you can also complete aggregation using the UI without manually entering queries. Let's look at another way to solve the previous task, this time with the help of the grouping panel. Open the invoice table in the data editor. Go to the right-hand toolbar and click the grouping button. This panel is empty by default. You can add the columns you need to work with. Let's start by dragging and dropping the billing city column into the panels area. As you can see, the count function applied automatically. However, our task is to find the average deal amounts, so let's replace count with AVG. To do this, click the Edit Grouping Columns button in the top toolbar of the grouping panel. Here you can add or remove columns and add the aggregate function you need. Let's select Count and click the Remove button. Then click the Add button and enter AVG Total. All that's left to do is add Billing Country and Billing Postal Code. To do this, click the Add button again, enter the column's name, and press Enter. After adding both columns, click the Apply and Close button. That's all we need to do to get the same result we achieved by manually creating a previous SQL query. You may notice that the columns in the grouping panel are displayed in the order in which we added them. Likewise, the order of the columns in the result set depends on the order in the select statement. Now you know two ways of finding the average value using the AVG function with dBeaver. We hope that you've learned a bit more about SQL scripting today. In the following videos, we'll show you how to use other aggregate functions.
Feel free to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.